because I get asked that all the time. Like, why? yeah, there's a strong uh, judgment that comes out of people. Yeah, regarding when they hear so-called truth, they have this strong judgment where they feel now they've got to live that truth, even if they haven't changed in their soul towards that truth. Yeah. So, so if they hear a truth about, like for example, I've talked to people about. You know, love would sooner or later mean that you'd give up meat in your life, you know, because you love the animals and you don't want to see them harmed and destroyed. So you would actually give up this process of eating meat for other reasons too. Love of love of the environment, love of some of people, because there's a lot of people's livelihoods getting destroyed mm -hmm. by this demand that we have for meat as well. So there's quite a lot going on with regard to the demand for meat. So so sooner or later we would give up our desire for meat. But if the person who hears those words then goes, oh, I have to give up meat, and I really like meat, you know, like, then if they don't address that issue and they just give up meat yeah. because they've been told to, or they believe they've been told yeah, to. Yeah, that's when you have to bring the humility and all that kind yeah, of that, stuff. Yeah, they're not addressing the underlying mm. emotional reason why they've done it. And if they don't address the underlying emotion and why they've done it, then their body will demand it still, and this is how many of them become emancipated. You know, they you know they lose all this weight and everything because the, the body, their soul, is still desiring the meat that they've given up. Yeah. If if your body has uh, stopped desiring it, and you've truly given it up in your soul, then you won't lose weight. You know, you won't. You, you when I say you won't lose weight, you won't go so thin that you know you go to the doctor and the doctor says, "Oh, it's because you're lacking protein." You, that won't never happen to you if if you you have given up the desire yeah. for it in your soul. So you know, we, we need to address those particular issues at, at, in in a truthful manner. So I'm not saying to a person if you hear that you need to give up meat to become more loving and then you ponder about it yourself and you go yes I can see the point to that and you know that that's great and then so then you stop eating meat that's that's great but don't think you've cured the soul based problem yeah because you haven't yeah. and and it's only by curing the soul based problem that that you let your that your actual body will re retain its current weight yeah. and will will actually purify itself anyway so, because yeah. giving up stuff like that shouldn't be an effort. Like I feel like, if if that I'm trying to make a sense of it, it shouldn't be an effort for that. It, you should just want to stop as soon as you deal with that issue. It just stop automatically, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't know. If that, like you know, there are, I feel there are some addictions that we have on the planet that are so damaging to others that it's worth the effort to give it up. Okay, yeah. However, don't think that once you've given it up that you've actually cured the real cause of the problem yeah. because the real cause of the problem is an emotion inside of the soul that yeah. drove you to it in the first place yeah. and it's one thing to give up the action and I do believe we need to give up actions that we know are unloving loving, even yeah. intellectually yeah. But, but quite another to believe that we've cured the problem in our soul yeah. because, the, because the reality is curing the problem in the soul is is a lot more involved to it than just taking an action and giving up a yeah, particular which goes thing. Which to that knowing something's unloving. And yeah. yeah. So so just because we stopped eating meat, it doesn't mean we still don't have the problem that drove us to eat meat. Mm. And if we're truly sincere with our soul, we'll go into the emotion that caused us to have that particular problem, rather than. And a lot of times that might be things like. I just want mum and dad's approval. Yeah. Like, or just basic things like that, you know. You know, our parents taught us that without meat, you're not going to be a strong man. So, so you know, you have this belief in you that without meat, you're just going to be a weakling. Yeah. And, and ironically, if you have that belief, your body will just shed weight until you are a weakling, until you address that problem. If if you give up meat, and but 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 I feel that we once we hear that something is damaging to others. If there is no other way to change it other than giving it up, we need to give it give up. It up. Yeah. Um, you know, if there is a, another way to do it, then I don't feel we need to give it up uh, so strongly. We need to look at changing the way that we do it yeah. rather than giving it up. So there are some things that damage other people um, in the, in the, the world we live in. It, yeah. For example, you know, at the moment, a lot of diamond mining damages people. Yeah. So we could choose to give up having a diamond ring, you know, giving up a desire for a diamond ring. 
But at the end of the day, <laughs> we are able to produce diamonds without harming people. Yeah. So wouldn't it be better to take action to make sure that, that the diamond mines are brought into more harmony with love, you know, and all those kind of things if we still want those particular things? And they are quite handy, to diamonds are, to, to us in terms of uh, tools and so forth. Yeah. So, you know, we need to take some other maybe alternate action other than just giving it up. Yeah. However, with eating meat, things die yeah, every exactly. single time. Every yeah. single time I've eaten some meat, something's had to die to get it on my plate. And so, you know, my feelings there is, no matter what alternative there is, uh, in terms of what, what, you know, with regard to my demand for meat, something's going to die. So in the end, I can see that, yes, perhaps I need to give up that particular desire that I have, which obviously is not a pure desire if something else has to be harmed for it to be fulfilled. Of course, yeah. And if you give up the meat you haven't dealt with it, you're going to walk past a steak one day and smell it. And exactly. <laughs> and and going to have the to, emotion is still, still going to have to get activated. Yeah. Yeah. So I, don't, I feel under those circumstances, yes, give up the meat, but understand that the underlying desire is still present and there is a need for you to address it mm -hmm. at some point in the future. And it, and it will be emotional. It's got yeah. to be emotional before it be released. So, um, you know, it's very important for us to see those particular things, I feel. Yeah. Yeah.